<clears throat> Hello, Miguel. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night. Uh, good evening. How are you today? Mm. Oh, everything is okay. Also. Oh, okay. Nice. You? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, how was your job today? How was your work? Uh, mm, no, good, good, not, not heavy. <laughs> oh, okay. This day. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, welcome. So welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay. Good. Uh, welcome. Um, let me see. Welcome Carla. How are you today, Carla? Hi, teacher. Uh, I'm so tired. Bye. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome Jacqueline. Welcome Christopher. Good evening, mm -hmm. teacher. Thank you. Uh, do you hear me well? Se escucha bien ahora o se escucha como cortado? Yes, teacher. Se escucha bien ahora? Mm -hmm. You yes. will. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You hear Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Um, welcome. Welcome Christopher. Welcome Miguel. Welcome Carla Maria, welcome Jacqueline, and welcome Laura. Okay, Laura. Okay, today is um, today is April what? April what? April sixth. Sixth. Okay. Yes. Yeah. April sixth. All right. Two thousand what? Two thousand twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, 2022. Okay, good. Okay, okay, give me a second. Give me a second, please. Give me a second. All right, I'm here, but I'm back. Welcome, Osman. How are you today, Osman? Hi, teacher. Uh, Hi. I'm, uh, so happy. Because, happy? Yes, because the, tomorrow will be the last day mm, nope <laughs> oh you on the work in my job in my job ah okay in your job Be because, because because i am happy for for that ah See? okay okay good now, uh, because, tomorrow finish uh -huh, yes because classes remember we are until friday okay we are yeah, going yes, to be... yes for 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 that no no problem for me teacher ah okay good okay good but okay. uh, for other side, my, my job uh, is uh, the last day tomorrow. Oh, okay, 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 good. Uh, I'm so jealous. That's <laughs> uh -huh. I'm so jealous because my last day at work it will be Saturday. Okay. Saturday, yes, Saturday. Uh huh. Okay. So welcome, Brian. How are you today, Brian? Welcome, Carlos. How are you today, Carlos? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. And you? How are you? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay, thank you. Okay, so it's really good to see you. Uh, really good to see you one more time. I hope uh, today uh, we are going to have a lot of fun. And uh, I don't know over there, but right now it's raining. It's raining here. That's why I'm in a different place now. Okay, yeah, I don't know over there. Is it raining over there? No, no. Not, not sure. sure. Ah, okay, okay. But in this part of the country, it's raining. You may, you can imagine how hot it is right now. Because you know when it's starting raining, especially after a long time without any rain or any drop of water, it gets uh, really um, hot outside. Okay. So welcome, welcome Fatima. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome. It's good. To, it's good to see you. Okay, give me a second now. Okay. So uh, welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to today's class. It's good to see you. Uh, welcome, Jacqueline. Welcome, Christopher. Welcome, Brian. Welcome, Carlos. Welcome, Laura. Welcome, Fatima. Welcome, Osman. 
and welcome Miguel Antonio. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing my, um, my presentation. Today, we are going to review, okay? Probably you might have still a question about the different topics that we have covered during the last days. So, but today we are going to what? We are going to review. Vamos a hacer un review acerca de todos los topics que vimos durante la semana pasada y ahorita. ¿Pueden ver mi presentación? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. Okay, thank you. Okay, so today we're gonna do a review. Okay, this is the topic for uh, today. We're gonna be like um, getting to know more about making requests, infinitives and gerunds, imperatives and wrap up. Okay. Okay, what is the objective for today's class? At the end of this session, you will review the different topics you studied in section one, in section two. Ok, como les dije el día de ayer, ok, eh, según el calendario, la próxima, la semana después de vacación, vamos a terminar lo que es eh, sección 3 y sección 4. Así que estamos bien. Eh, mañana comenzamos sección 3. O sea que mañana y el viernes vamos a terminar la sección número 3. Ok, y cuando vengamos de vacación, pues vamos a terminar la sección número 4. Así que ahí vamos a nivelar, just in case. No sé si a ustedes les mandaron algún correo o algo diciéndoles que trabajen en la plataforma. O a nadie. O a nadie a le mandaron. Sí me, a mí Ajá. sí me enviaron eh, mensaje por WhatsApp de que trabajaran en la plataforma. Oh, que quizás cada, no había trabajado tenés. nada, quizás, Miguel. Uh -huh. eh, no, había, no había terminado la sección 2, solo la sección 1 ah. no había terminado. Ok, so el día de ayer terminamos la sección 2. Así que pueden seguir comenzando a trabajar en la sección 2, terminarla y comenzar la sección 3, que es la que vamos a comenzar el día de mañana. Sí, eh, okay. yo comencé la sección 3, pero me quedé en el audio del de Carnaval de Brasil que no entendí. Oh, yeah, ok. Eso es lo que vamos a ver en esta, ¿qué? En este, en esta sección, que, que es la que vamos a comenzar el día de mañana, sección número 3. Ok. okay. So, como les digo, eh, no se preocupen, siempre vamos a cubrir la sección 3, solo que sería uno o dos días después, pero siempre lo vamos a cubrir. Ok, so no worries about that. All right. Remember that yesterday we learned how to give suggestions. So remember, you were providing how to provide, how to say, or how to uh, recommend, and uh, not recommend, but give suggestion to how to use some things. So now, what I want you to do is, I want you to give some suggestions about how to take care of a car. As you see over there, you see, make sure to, try to, be sure to, don't forget to, and remember to. Okay, okay, can you tell me, uh, can you give me some suggestion how I can take care of my car? Hey teacher. Me okay, use Osman. Me. Okay, Osman. Make you make sure to put water in your car. Ah, make sure to put some water. Okay, good. Thank you, Osman. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Alguien más? Jacqueline. Uh, try to keep clean your car, teacher. <laughs> yes, try to keep clean your car. Good, thank you, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Yes, Miguel. Miguel. Mm -hmm. Miguel. Try to put a special gasoline in your car. Yes, that's a good one, Miguel. Try to put a special kind of gasoline or gas. Okay, thank you. Teacher, uh, me, Carla. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Don't forget to put seat belt. 
Okay, good. That's good. Very good. Anyone else? Alguien más? How do you say nivel? Nivel, level. Okay. Como okay. level, level, level. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, review your level of alt. Oh, oh, okay. Good. Good, good. Teacher. Okay. Anyone else? Yes, yes. It is correct to say, uh, don't forget to put, uh, don't forget to put mute your microphone in English class. What is it? It's correct to say, don't forget to put your micro microphone mm -hmm. in your English class. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. You can say correct. that. Yeah, it's correct. But in this case, okay. we are giving, uh, you know, that we are giving suggestion how to take care of a car. Como cuidar un carro. Okay. But uh -huh. that's, a okay. that's a good question. I mean, that's a good sentence, Osman. Yes, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How can I say suave in English? Oh, en qué contexto? Como remember, o como recuerda cerrar suave la puerta. Oh, okay. So you can say, uh, remember to close the door gently. Uh, gently. gently. Ajá, como gentilmente. En español mm -hmm. suena como gentilmente, mm -hmm. pero en inglés es gently. Ok, despacio. Okay, sí. Porque si, por ejemplo, si usted me dice despacio o suave, dependiendo del contexto, si es otra ah, cosa. Ah, porque despacio ser, no, eh, podría ser, ser slow y no sé. Ajá, si slow, correcto. ajá. Eso sería despacito. Y de soft es despacio. Oh. Uh, que está bien. Oh, soft, soft es también. como suave. suave. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, good. I okay, have vamos. a question, teacher. Yes, uh, yes. About uh, how do you say calibrar las llantas? Calibrating, oh, calibrate okay. tires? No, the or tires, what? yes. The, the tires. tires. The wheels. Well, you can say the wheels or the tire. Mm -hmm. Wheels or tires. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Miriam. And then, yeah, Miriam. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Okay, teacher, I, I have an example. Okay. Remember to check the remember to check the tires. Okay, good, good. Okay, alguien más me levantó la mano, me parece, pero no vi, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Después de Miriam. Okay, okay. So what about um anything else? Algo más? ¿Algo más? ¿Algún consejo para los carros? ¿Cómo cuidar un carro? If you are parked, don't forget the handbrake. Oh, if you leave or if you park your car, don't forget the handbrake. Ok, good. Uh -huh. el, el, ¿Cómo se dice? Handbrake. Oh, el freno de mano. El freno de mano, yes. Uh -huh. eh, remember to check the brakes. Ah, remember to check the brakes. Okay, what is brakes? Freno. Los frenos. Eh, el, el, eh, pero más que todo el líquido. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, the liquid, the liquid. Okay, good. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next uh, activity. Thank you. Okay, I would like you to tell me or talk about your favorite place in El Salvador. All right. So I'm going to give you like one or two minutes to talk about your favorite place in El Salvador. All right. So you're going to be talking about your favorite place in El Salvador. What is your favorite place? Think about it. Y lo voy a mandar a small breakout rooms para que discutan. Y digan cuál es su lugar favorito en El Salvador. Okay. Is there any question? Oh, is that clear? Is that clear? clear teacher. Okay, good. Okay, lo voy a, lo voy a mandar a, um, a breakout rooms y quiero que discutan acerca cuál es su lugar favorito en El Salvador. All right. Okay, here we go.
place is Quantapec Lake because it's the um, is a a place with a the weather uh, very I don't know how to say <laughs> yeah agradable um, and wonderful. yes wonderful um, and two is near of my house because I am from oh. Santana and two is the um, como se dice octava the uh, eighth eighth wonderful of the world Octava maravilla del mundo. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, what about you, Daniel? Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Yes. I hear. Okay. Um in my case, my favorite place place in the country. Near the Palma, uh -huh. Chilatemango, near the Palma. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, where is your favorite place, Adolfo? Well, my favorite place are every beach in El Salvador because I love the beach and I don't. Pentana Beach. Yes. Okay. My favorite place in El Salvador is Fureza. It's a zoo. It really it's, it's, a a it's, it's, it's a beautiful place. And, it's a beautiful place. And the weather is and the weather is is like a pital or no? It's it's like a pital, but oh. the pital is more mas, cool. Bad, more, more more cool. More cool. Oh, uh, really? It's more cool. Yes. Um it's colder, I, colder than than the Monte Cristo. The Luis, Luis say Luis told, told uh, Lake Guatepec. Yes, I told Luis, Lake is my favorite. He, he lives near the Lago, Lake Guatepec. Guatepec Lake. Lake, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for uh, having wonderful talks. I could hear some of you talking about, hey, I live close to Coatepeca Lake. Hey, let's go to Monte Cristo. Hey, let's go to Fureza. Okay, good. But I would like to hear from all of you. What is your favorite place? Can you tell me what your favorite place is? Aha, estamos utilizando ¿eh? algo. Mm -hmm. Yes, please, sir. Ah, uh, Jacqueline. Okay, and then okay. Carla, and then Jancy, I guess. <laughs> okay, teacher. My mm -hmm. favorite place in El Salvador mm -hmm. is Fureza. It's a zoo. Oh, where is Fureza? Where? It is la ubicación Fureza. ¿Dónde está? Es El Salvador, la Libertad. Hayaque, teacher. Por Hayaque. Hayaque. Where is? What is Hayaki? La Libertad. Oh, La Libertad. La libertad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Okay, You're welcome. Uh, okay. Uh, Carla Maria. And then Miriam. Mm -hmm. uh, your microphone is off. Sorry, okay. teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, my yeah. favorite place is Playa El Tunco because you dance all the night here. <laughs> okay. I don't think I have ever been a Playa El Tunco. I don't think wow. I've been there. I've been to El Sunsal Beach, but not to the Tunco Beach. Mm -hmm. The beach Tunco, it's very, very, very. Uh, uh, I don't know, right? Really? But, uh, but, uh, but, but it, 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 um, 
no es un lugar para bañarse. Oh, it's not a place to, uh, to uh, go to. How mm -hmm. do you say piedras? Uh, rocks or stones. Yeah. It's, they... for, it's more for dance or party. Fish. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You need to go, teacher. All the night. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. So that means that if you go to el, el Tunco, you don't go to, to swim, but you go to dance. Yeah. Okay. Dance. At the party. Ah, okay. A dance, drink, a dance. A lot of uh, oh, drinking, a lot of party. dancing. <laughs> drink. Okay. A yes. lot of party. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What about you, Miriam? Yancy, teacher. Uh, Miriam, you Yancy. want? Yancy, Yancy, bet. Hmm? Okay. Uh, oh, Jancy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then, uh -huh. and for Bet. me, my place, my favorite place is in, in El Salvador, is El Tazumal. Ah. Yes, I like El Tazumal because my family mm -hmm. is live there. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I never been to El Tazumal. I've been to San Andres. San Andres. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the Tazumal in is the how do you say brisa? Uh, the brief breeze, breeze. yes, e r e e z e, mm -hmm. or the air you can say the air or the breeze, mm -hmm. the air, okay. Mm -hmm. And you feel um fresh and you forget all. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you, Jancy. Uh, how are you, Miriam? Mm -hmm. Uh, teacher, I have to. Uh, two favorite places. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yes, I like uh, so much uh, El, El Pital for ah, the weather, for the, uh -huh, for the forest, like a uh -huh. forest, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and the beach. beach. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh, because uh, I like, I like to walk uh, uh, around the beach. Oh, okay. Walt. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Walt. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank you, Miriam. Okay, one more volunteer. Alguien más? Uh -huh. What about Liz Mesquita, Miguel, Adolfo, Daniel, Laura, Carlos, Christopher, Brian, Fatima? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Carlos. Okay, Carlos Membreño. Uh -huh. I see Luis Mesquita. He's ready to, as well. <laughs> My favorite place is Ventana Beach. Ventana Beach. Okay. Where, where is Ventana Beach? Ventana Beach is in Usulután. Oh, in Usulután. I never heard about that place. Yes, this is the... Uh, when you go into the Cuckoo Beach, uh -huh, uh -huh. You, you turn to, to left to go into the Cuckoo. Uh -huh. and, and to Ventana Beach, you turn right. Oh, and like on your way to El Espino Beach. Yes, yeah, you, you, you go straight uh, about the 10 kilometers and you, you there in the Ventana Beach. Ah. I like this. Um, but it, because it's very empty and the uh -huh. beach is really nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Luis? Yes. Mm -hmm. Este, my, my favorite plate in El Salvador is Cotepec Lake. Ah, uh, uh -huh. Because since the moment in you you are near of the, the place, you can uh, enjoy a beautiful view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the weather in the place is, I don't know how to say, agradable. Oh, pleasant. Pleasant. Mm -hmm. It's very pleasant. Ah, okay. Good. That's a that's a, a wonderful place as well. I've been there a yes. couple of times in Coatepec Lake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So thank you. Thank you everyone for participating. Participating. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, since today, probably I'm not going to teach anything new. I'm not going to teach anything new. However, we are going to review. Okay, for example, the first topic that we are going to review is phrasal verbs. Okay, with phrasal verbs, uh, we have, I told you that the other day, 
that we have a verb and a particle, a particle, I'm sorry. We have the, the verb and we have the particle. Do you remember that? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Yes? Yes, okay. teacher. All right. Also, uh, for example, uh, if we need to substitute the pronoun, the TV, ¿qué sería ahí? ¿Cuál pronoun sería en vez de TV? It. 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 Okay, good. Lo cual lo tengo acá, ¿sí? Sí, I have it right here. Okay, good. So, if I have a pronoun, listen up. If I have a pronoun, I can put it in the middle of the verb and the particle. However, I can't, listen to me, I can't put it at the end. No, 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 no. I can't do that. But yes, I can put it in the middle. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, good. Look, look the other one. <clears throat> um, however, si yo estoy utilizando el nombre, con el nombre sí, I can put it at the end and I can put it at the, at, in the middle. Pero si estoy utilizando pronoun like this, I can put it in the middle, but not at the end. Okay. Vamos you can, say, you mm -hmm. can say pick pick up her. Uh, no, I can't say that. No puedo decir eso. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this example. Look at this example that I'm going to do it here. Okay. For example, I, ca I can say I will pick, pick up her. No. No. Sí. No puedo decir así. Pero si puedo decir, I, I will pick her up. ¿Sí? Her up. Yes. Okay. However, miren, si puedo decir, supongamos que her es María. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver María. I will pick, I will pick up María. ¿Ok? Yes, puedo decir así. También puedo decir. Why teacher? I, yes. Mm -hmm. Sí. Mm -hmm. Yes, sí. Yes. I puedo, puedo decir eso, sí. Pero no puedo decir. I will pick up her. No, no. You can't say that. Pero sí puede decir, I will pick her up. Cuando están utilizando nombres, como en el caso de María, puede ser María, puede ser Juana, puede ser Romelia, puedo utilizarlo al final. I will pick up María. I can put it at the end and that's fine. The same happens if I put it in the middle. I will pick María up. Okay. Well, teacher, I have a question about this. Okay, you yes. Are, you are specific, uh, the, the person. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Miranda, I'm going to answer your question a little bit later. Just I want to know if, um, I, creo que es Miguel que tiene una pregunta. Oh, who is the no, other person? No, Chris. Who? Chris. Okay, Christopher. Okay, Christopher. Uh, yes, in the, in the first example is because her is a pronoun. Exactly. Exactly. That's okay. why... Yeah, and Okay, yes. eh, María is, an, is a, a noun. noun. Yes. Okay. But aquí estamos hablando, but, miren, voy a llevar aquí el ejemplo. ¿Se acuerdan que yo les preguntaba, verdad? Que qué era TV, ustedes me dijeron que era un nombre. ¿Se acuerdan? Un nombre, que es contable, right? Okay, como no. es un nombre, I can put it at the end, like, turn down the TV. Y también puedo ponerlo en medio, turn the TV down. Pero si yo tengo un pronombre, como en el caso que aquí, it está sustituyendo de TV, Puedo decir, turn it down, pero no puedo decir, turn down it. Ok, Miramos, miremos este otro ejemplo. Look, uh, let me see, ok. Ok, look this other example. Ok, pick up, es a phrasal verb, right? Pick up your things. 
como está en plural, estamos refiriéndonos a them, right? A ellos o a esas cosas. Ok, puedo decir pick them up. Yes. Y también puedo decir pick, ¿sí? Pick your things up. Pero no puedo decir pick up them. No puedo decir pick up them. No, no puedo. Ok. ¿Es that clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ok, yes, good. Teacher, thank you. Ok, good. Teacher. Yes. But uh, uh -huh, I, I, I can say, uh -huh, uh -huh, I can say pick, for example, pick mm -hmm. the map, pick the map up or pick, pick up the map. Oh, for example, o sea, recoge, el, no, no, I don't know. Recogelos. Eh, no, si, si pongo el nombre, vaya, como por mm -hmm. ejemplo, pick up your shoes. Ajá. Pick up your shoes. Mm -hmm. Or pick, pick your, oh, no, no. Uh, pick the map, pick, pick the map. Ajá, vaya. Pick, pick your, your shoes up. Pick, up. pick your shoes uh, up. Yes, ok, okay. good. Ah, okay. Vamos, <ríe> sí, vamos a ver este ejemplo acá. Vamos a limpiar esto. Vamos a hacer el ejemplo. Vamos. El ejemplo que usted acaba de dar ahorita. That's a good example. Ok. Look. Uh, Carlos, ok. Carlos. Ok. Carlos. Pick up your shoes. Uh -huh. Ok. Estamos bien, ¿verdad? Pero ahora quiero, quiero decirle, Carlos, ¿sí? Carlos, pick them up, ¿verdad? Pero no puedo decir, Carlos, pick, pick Yo up no. them. No, no puedo decir esto, ¿ok? No puedo decir esto. Pick up them. No puedo decir pick up them. Teacher, pero yes. si yo he usado... Uh, es un, estoy algo confundida. Pero si yo he usado como el primer ejemplo, Carlos, pick up your shoes. Uh -huh. And then no puedo decir, Carlos, pick your shoes up. Pick your shoes. Pick your shoes. Yeah, you can say that. But, so, your shoes. Decir, Carlos. Up. Vamos con el ejemplo de Carlos. Ok, Carlos. Pick your shoes up. Up, yes. Usted puede decir eso. Ah, uh, ¿sí? ok. Thank you. So, tiene cuatro, de, las, de todas esas formas, solo tres son posibles. La primera, Carlos, pick up your shoes, que es el que siempre utilizamos nosotros. Por ejemplo, Carlos, turn off the TV. Carlos, uh, take, the, take out the garbage. Carlos, turn down the TV. ¿Sí? Ok. Y la otra, pues, que es, Carlos, pick your shoes up. Carlos, uh, close the door up. Carlos, um, turn the TV down. ¿Sí? Pero no puedo utilizar Carlos, pick up them. Uh -uh, no puedo decir eso. Pero sí puedo decir Carlos, pick them up. Pick them up. ¿Ok? Estamos en, está, ¿Se entendió ahora? Acuérdense, yes, estamos repartiendo. Sure. Okay, Ok, good. We are reviewing. Estamos repasando ahorita. Ok, let me see. Correcto. Yes. Thank you, Daniel. Yes, eso es lo que dice acá. Look, with pronouns. Aquí está, miren. With pronouns, never use the pronoun at the end. Ok, sí. Never. Nunca van a utilizar el pronoun. Like this one. Cualquier pronoun. At the end. No, ¿sí? No. Never at the end. No, no, ¿ok? Pero sí, con now, no se preocupen, con now sí lo pueden poner al final. And there is no problem. Ok. Good. Thank you for asking. I have a question about yes. The, yes, Adolfo. the pronunciation, the correct pronunciation of the answer. El contract, the contractor form of will. With the, the, the answer requests and responses. Uh, for response, we use, for example, okay, I'll turn, turn it up. 
turn it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the correct pronunciation of oh, that contraction? I'll turn it down. I'll turn it down. Yes. I'll, 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 I'll turn it I'll. down. I'll mm -hmm. go. See, I will go. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or you can say, for example, I'll pick them up. I'll hang it up. I'll turn it down. See? ¿Sí? Usualmente, eh, in speaking, by right, esta es una a recommendation. In speaking, you can have, let's say, contraction, contracciones, contractions, like I will, I'll. I don't or I do not. Okay. You can use that. However, when you are writing, when you are writing, no, it's not possible. Even though you can do it, it is kind of informal. It's informal. Si lo escriben como I'll, I'll turn it down, por ejemplo. Teacher. Yes. Uh, when I will use contractions. Oh, when you are speaking. Yeah, especially if you are speaking to your friends, to your family, uh, to people that you know very well, you can use contractions. But if you are talking to a very important person, like VIP person, uh, that is not a good recommendation to use um, to use uh, contractions. For example, in an interview. Aha, uh -huh, in an interview. Yeah. I don't recommend you to use I will, uh, uh, I'll go. Por ejemplo, look, muchas personas, eh, muchos, eh, por ejemplo, ok, déjenme escribir esto acá. Yo creo que esto lo saben. Muchas personas dicen, I gonna go. ¿Han escuchado eso? Yep. Yeah. I gonna go, and bla, bla, bla. Solo porque se quieren escuchar bien native, bien nativos. Oh, you know mm. what? I gonna. O... I wanna. I wanna. See? ¿sí? Or I gotta. Uh -huh. Or I ain't. See? ¿sí? I ain't. Okay? What is the meaning of the last? I... Oh, the last one? I, I okay. Yeah. I ain't. I ain't. Ese puede ser. Puede I ser not. cualquier cosa. I am not. Puede ser. I, I am not. Puede ser. I don't. Okay, usually todos los negativos que vayas con I. It I depend in the yeah, context. Depends in the context. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you, so, teacher. I don't recommend you to say that. However, if you are speaking, yes, in speaking you can say, hey, for example, oh, today we're gonna, see? Today we're gonna, see? Ya, ya lo dice uno natural. Uh, today we're gonna cover this topic. I'm gonna be talking about this topic. See? I'm gonna be talking about this topic. Okay? Uh, uh, you wanna You wanna do this. But I'm saying that because it's speaking. However, if I were talking to a, my boss, mi, mi jefe, por ejemplo, I don't recommend you to, to use I gonna. Instead, you can use I am going to talk about this one. Or imagine you are presenting a very important presentation. Y salgan con ustedes, I'm going to talk about this. Uh -uh. You better say, I am going to talk about this topic and I want to talk about this topic or I got to talk about this topic or I am not going to talk about that topic. See? Okay. How do you that say is callejero. Callejero. Uh, you can say um, those can be like slangs. Slangs in English. Slangs, yes. Slangs. Mm -hmm. Slangs English. Mm -hmm. Es como un inglés de calle, de calle, de calle, dije, no, no de calle, de calle. <ríe> es como, es como, como, como nosotros jerga. que decimos. Ajá, como los, por ejemplo. Como um, nosotros, teacher, que decimos, ¿qué onda, vos? Ajá, es ¿qué onda, Caliche. Bo? Caliche, ajá, como, ¿qué onda, vos? Mira vos, um, ajá, como, fíjate que, vamos a ver qué Cubo, dice. Cubo, ajá. Weird. Sí. Weird. 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 Uh, but weird, yeah. Buira do, buira hacer esto. Buira do, yeah. Buira do, buira hacer esto. Si podría ser así. Un buira okay. como un weird. Weird, yeah. Entonces, teacher, entonces este, o sea, para escribirlo así en, en, 
contraction tampoco. Es informal. Es informal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's Porque why. En, I... ejemplo, uh -huh. en el ejemplo. Ahí está, pues, pero. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because if you. Ok, good. ¿Saben por qué? Porque esos ejemplos fueron tomados de la conversación anterior. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer estuvimos practicando una conversación? Ajá, de una conversación. ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Ajá, ok, por eso es. Pero la idea, la idea de este ejemplo acá es que ustedes puedan manejar el speaking. Porque ustedes no van a enseñar el idioma. Ustedes lo que, la idea que están acá es practicar y hablar el idioma. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Es que okay, that's why... That's why we give you the context and we give you the reasons why you can and you cannot use a specific one. Like, let's say, some slangs. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope I answer your question. Was it you, Brian, or was it Christoph Christopher? ¿Quién me preguntó? Brian. Oh, okay, good, Brian. Uh, did I answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay. Ok, thank you. All right. So, vamos al siguiente. Ok. Is that clear, this topic? Is it clear? Yes, the chair. Yes, uh, I guess I'm not going to ask you for questions. Like, I mean, I'm not going to ask you to give me some answers or some sentences for this one. I turned down because you already know that. You already know what turn down means. You know what pick up means and hang up. So, I'm going to move on. All right to the next slide. But this one, yes. Do you remember that we did this activity? So very quickly, uh, who wants to do number two? Number two, very quickly, number two. Turn TV off, please. Turn okay. the lights off. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights off, good. Number three. Number three, very quickly, please. Clean the yard. Clean the yard. Clean the yard, Clean the yard up, okay, please. Good, number four. Please put your boots. Away. Put your boots, boots. Uh, okay. The trash. Away. Okay. Boots. Let's put okay. the trash away. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Number five. Number five. Please turn down. Turn down. Sorry, the music. Okay. Please turn down the please music. Please turn down the radio. Please turn, turn down, down the radio. The TV. The TV. Good. Excelente. Number six. Please take off the your boots. Okay. Take off. Take off your boots. Good. Number seven. And your jacket. Good. Mm -hmm. Hang your jacket up. Okay. And eight. Number eight. Please take, take out off the, the trash. The cut. Okay. Good. And number nine. Please let the Please cut, out. cut out. Please let the cut out. Okay. Number ten. Turn on the TV. Please. Okay, the good. TV, Excellent. Turn on the light. Okay, turn on the lights. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, so I need volunteers to read. Uh, I need four people. Necesito cuatro voluntarios que me ayuden a leer. Me. Okay, me. Daniel, me, first me, one. Me, Miriam. Okay, Miriam. Me, Daniel. Daniel. Luis. Luis. <laughs> Tenemos a, a Miriam, Daniel, and Luis. I need one me. more. Who? Me. ¿Quién es mí? Jancy. Okay, Jancy. <laughs> Lo yes. siento. No se les olvide decirme, ¿verdad? Si me dicen mí, ¿quién es mí? Ok, mm -hmm. porque a veces si están hablando los cuatro personas, solo, la cámara solo me enfoca a una persona. Ok, vamos. El primero va a ser Daniel. Ok, el primero Daniel. And then uh, Miriam. Choose your words carefully. Be a nice person, Luis. And lastly, give and take, Jancy. Okay? Yes. Okay, Daniel. Go ahead, Daniel. Okay. We all have to ask for favor sometimes, but it can be a difficult thing to do. Even when you ask a good friend, so how can you ask a favor? And be reasonably so sure to get positive response. Sorry. Uh, so, so, how can you ask favor and be reasonable so sure to get possible response? Here are some suggestions. Suggestion. Thank you, Daniel. Next, Miriam. Okay, choose your choose your word carefully. 
how how do people respond to requests like this one? Hey, my, lend, lend me your car. They probably refuse. How can you avoid this problem? Choose your words carefully. For example, say, Mike, would you mind doing me, me Mike? Would you would you would you mind doing me a favor? Favor? Mike will probably respond like this. Maybe. What do you need? Now you have his attention and explain and can explain the situation. People are more likely to agree to help you when they know the world story. Good, thank you. Thank you, Miriam. Next. Be a nice person. When you ask someone for a, fa a favor, you're really asking the person to go out of his or her way to help you. Show the person that you understand he, he or she is doing something especially nice for you. If people think you're pleasing, they're more likely to want to help. Thank them sin sincerely when they help you. And of course, a smile goes a long way. Good, thank you, Luis. Next. Okay. Give and take. If someone agrees, great to do you a favor, allow the person to choose when he or she helps you. We will respect respectful of the other person's time and try not to ask for too much. If someone refuses your request, you should accept the answer, the answer, answer polite. Don't make a heavy habit or asking for favor. And always make sure you are ready, ready to do someone a favor in return. Reciprocate. It's just a matter, a matter of giving and taking. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Maya. Thank you, everyone, for your time and willingness to read the different paragraphs. Okay, do you find any new word or any new expression that you didn't know the meaning? This is a time to uh, get new vocabulary. No, no new word? Okay, excelente, thank you. All right, so um, repeat with me, please, everyone, hold. Hold. Hold, hold stories. Hold. Hold, hold, hold stories. Story. Story. Okay, good. Story. Vaya, repitan conmigo esta expresión. Vamos a ver. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Okay, be, okay listen be, very carefully. Because uh, miren la diferencia entre would you and would you. Listen, would you and with you. ¿Escuchan la diferencia? Hay una ahí. Ajá. The thing yeah. is, be careful with this one. I explain, I guess I, I kind of explained this the other day. Que yes. la palabra, ya les dije que cómo se pronunciaba, yeah. la, ¿se acuerdan que les mencionaba cómo se pronunciaba la palabra, por ejemplo, um, let's say, yes. Nosotros decimos yes. 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 Nosotros decimos, por ejemplo, yes. yes. Yesterday, yesterday, ¿verdad? Yesterday. O decimos, por ejemplo, you. You. Okay, you. okay so, you. so in that example over here, sería entonces, would you mind, you. ¿sí? Would you mind? Would you mind, ¿sí? Okay, would you mind? Would you mind? Be careful if you, you say, would you. Would you mind? Okay, so just try not to say, would you. Y por ejemplo, do you want o uh, can you, can you, ¿sí? That's threatening. Y eso lo he escuchado muchas veces. So I, I, I will highly recommend you to try to think about que cada vez que vean una Y no es Y, sino que es Y. Yeah. Okay, or you, like you. yes, you. yesterday, yes. you, ¿sí? Yes. Okay. You. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Excelente. Thank you so much. No hay palabras nuevas, right? 
No. Ok, vamos a la siguiente then. Esto lo vimos. I think we covered this part the day before yesterday. And I don't think I'm going to take a lot of time. Ok, I'm not, I'm not going to be taking a lot of a lot of time explaining this. All right. So uh, help me out in here. Since we are asking for what? For um, requests. Can you, okay, we're going to complete this question. What would it be in there? Can you, can you what? Can you, ayúdeme a completar esta oración. Can you turn down the... Can Sorry. you, can you turn down the what? The music. The music. Okay, good. Vamos a la next. Vamos a la siguiente. Okay, next. Could you? Another example. Borrow. Borrow. Borrow your car. Okay. Could you borrow? Borrow, okay, could you borrow mm, your, but in that case, that could be different, it could be, could you lend me, lend me, porque yo, estoy diciendo a él que me lo haga, pero si yo digo, can I borrow your car, ahí sí puedo, can I, pero this is, could you lend me, lend me, okay, yes, lend me your car, see, ¿Sí? could you, okay, good, Okay, what about would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you clean the bathroom? Oh, okay. Would you clean the bathroom? Okay, the bathroom. Excelente. Vamos a la, a la última. Would you mind? Uh -huh. Would you mind finishing your homework? Oh, okay. Would you mind finishing your homework? Okay, excelente. Thank you so much. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me see. Okay, excelente. All right. So, <clears throat> I would like you to think about... Um, and I would like you to write a sentence. Yes. You using... question. Yes. Uh, excuse me. In, in, in the sentence three, uh, I think uh, we have to put in the end, please. If you want. It's no. not mandatory. It's not mandatory. It's not a ruler. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a rule. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Thanks. This is just a suggestion. You can include, please. And that's fine. Como lo, lo muestra el ejemplo acá. Look, puede colocarlo bien a, en medio o aquí al final. Por ejemplo, for example, would you please take your garbage out? Or would you take your garbage out, please? See? Okay, that's an example. Okay. Is that clear, Osman? Thanks. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Vaya, ahora quiero que me escriban una oración en el chat utilizando Would you mind, please. Vamos al chat. Now. Okay, let's go and see. Vamos a ver, Osman, uh, would you mind listening the song? Okay, in that case, Osman, that would be, would you mind listening to? Listening to. Vamos a ver, Christopher. Ah, okay, Christopher. Mire, Christopher, ¿qué pasa acá? Look, Christopher, cuando tengo my, ¿cómo está el verbo? ¿Cómo está el verbo, Christopher? ING, sorry. Ajá, excelente, excelente observación. Uh, great observation. 
Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, a vamos a ver Miguel. Would you mind not? Oh, lo mismo para usted, Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio. Ah, ok, good, good. Would you mind not putting? Good. Vamos a ver, Carlos Membreño. Would you mind talking? Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's say, Carla. Would you mind... Uh -huh. ¿Cómo... ¿Cómo así, Carla? No le entiendo. ¿Le importaría Washington? Sorry, teacher, es que estoy en el teléfono y me cuesta. Sorry. Ah, ah ok. Yo dije, sorry, ¿Te importaría sorry, Washington? Teacher. Ajá, ok. No, es que quería poner, ¿Would you mind washing your clothes? Ah, ok. ¿Would you mind washing? Pero me Washington. Ok, okay Washington, de ahí le sorry, salió teacher. World. Vamos yeah. a ver, Jacqueline. Vamos a ver, Jacqueline. ¿Would you mind helping me? Vamos a ver, Brian. Would you going? Mm, revise la oración, Brian. ¿Qué les hace falta ahí? Would you? ¿Qué les hace falta? Would you? ¿Qué les hace falta ahí? Would you? My, sorry. My, excelente. Vamos a ver aquí. Okay, good. Vamos a ver, Christopher. Would you mind closing the door, please? Excelente. Vamos a ver, Daniel. Would you mind bringing me some pupusa with mayonnaise? Con mayonesa. Good. <laughs> okay, no, Jen. <laughs> okay, Jen. Jen C. Uh, <laughs> okay, Jen C. Vamos a ver, Jen C. Would you mind serving me? Okay, good. Vamos a ver, ¿qué más? All right. Okay, excelente oraciones. Okay, um, let me see the next one. Okay, yes, that's fine. Okay, so to conclude, la pregunta sería, what did you learn so far? ¿Qué han aprendido so far? What have you learned so far? Vamos a ver. And that's the last question. And then we conclude the class. What have you learned so far? ¿Qué han aprendido hasta el momento? No me van a decir que nada, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Yes. To be polite when when I request. To be polite when you are requesting something. Okay. When, yes. Good. When Good. you use personal verb. Mm -hmm. When you we, uh, uh, a verb. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, if you use pronoun. Don't use uh, in the end of the sentence. Good. Good. Ajá. ¿Alguien que diga yo? Mi jokes are so terrible. Ajá. Imperative. <laughs> How to use imperative. Ah, ok. Like, for example, uh, try to, Back up, don't forget, try remember. To, mm -hmm. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, How good. To use, How to use personal verb with nouns and pronouns. Excelente. Thank you, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Una más. Okay. And how to do suggestions? How to do suggestions? Good. Okay. When how to do suggestions? Infinitive, when you use infinitive, you use two. When uh -huh. you use a gerion, gerion, you gerion, use four. Yeah. Four, for example, uh, I use the computer to send emails and I use the computer for, for sending, sending emails. emails. Okay. Good. Very good. Excellent. So I'm going to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to start with section number three. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and sleep tight. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Good night. Thank you for coming. Bye,